what you guys got another video here for you time is running out on windows 11 if you've decided to give windows 11 a go and upgraded to windows 11 from windows 10 using the windows insider program then you might be surprised to know that you only have initially 10 days uh, to roll back to windows 10 once you've updated your system to windows 11. now of course uh, if you intend on staying on Windows 11, then that's okay. But the problems arise when you are just having a little test on Windows 11 and you now want to roll back to Windows 10. Unfortunately, after 10 days have passed, you won't be able to do that. And that can be a big headache for a lot of people. They can end up having to reinstall Windows and basically start afresh. Now, if you've got a main system which you are doing this update on, which has all your data on it and all of your programs installed on it, you're only going to have a 10-day window unless you extend it, which I'll show you later on. You're only going to have a 10-day window to try out Windows 11 and roll back within that time frame unless you extend it to a maximum of 60 days which they should be doing by default anyway. So Microsoft are only giving you 10 days to roll back. Now, unfortunately, your system may have an issue. It may not like Windows 11 for some reason, and you might need to go back. But as I've said, you've only got a very short window to roll that system back, which is, I think, asking for trouble. There's going to be a lot of people that haven't uh, backed up their data and now they're forced to stay on Windows 11. And let me just show you here on my main system here. If I go to settings here, inside settings in the system area, you'll see an area inside here called uh, recovery. And this is the area where you're going to be using to roll back your computer. So inside here, this is recovery area here. They can also get to this recovery area inside your windows update area and i'll quickly show you that as well so inside here you can see go back and it's all now grayed out and that's because i've gone past the 10 days now i've got no reason to roll this computer back whatever's on this pc i can lose so i'm not really worried about that too much myself but for people that are using uh, their system and it might be their main system that they're updating to and they might have issues I'm just pointing this out to you that you will only have 10 days to roll back your system and it can catch you out a little bit. So just be mindful about what you're doing if it's on your main system with all your data on it and all your programs. You can see here this system has now missed the 10 day rollback period. The windows.old folder which it uses to roll back the system will be removed from the computer. And this has got all your Windows 10 on it so you just have to be mindful about that you can see the windows the old has been removed after the 10 day period so what can you do well you can still upgrade to windows 11 and use it uh, inside the insider program if you want to and then what you might want to do is extend the time frame from 10 days to uh, 60 days you can do it up to 60 days maximum and that's what i'd advise you to do that way it gives you a little bit more time to see whether you're having any major problems with windows 11 at that time 10 days is really not long enough to uh, work out whether you're going to have any issues with it now the command you're going to need is this command here you need to do this immediately as soon as you update to windows 11 and this will then give you a 60 day period if you don't do it immediately, the clock will start ticking down and you'll only have 10 days. So you can see here, I've got this command inside here as run as administrator inside command prompt. You can then use this command here that tells you now that you have the uninstall Windows feature extended up to 60 days. So that's basically how you can extend uh, your sort of lifeline really to roll back. Now, of course, if you don't do that and you do miss the 10 day period and you're one of those people that are now stuck with a system uh, like Windows 11 and you do want to go back to Windows 10 
then you can do a fresh install of Windows 10. You would need to go to uh, the Microsoft website, download the media creation tool, and create a bootable USB flash drive and install Windows 10 as a fresh install on that system. It will activate and you'll be back on Windows 10. Now, of course, if you want to go back to Windows 11 again, you, you will have to go through the same old palaver and upgrade to Windows 11, and then you can use that extension to 60 days. But remember, after the 60 day period, you will then be back to that point where you won't be able to roll back. So if you're not quite ready to upgrade to Windows 11 just yet, and you're thinking about uh, thinking about it, or you just want to use Windows 10, you still can use Windows 10 up until 2025. There's no need to rush to update to Windows 11 straight away. You'll always have that free upgrade to Windows 11 at any time you want to roll that out. So there's no deadline. There is no cutoff time where you're forced to update to Windows 11 straight away. You'll be able to update to Windows 11 whenever you like uh, and when you're ready. I just want to touch on one more thing before I end this video, and that is TPM 2.0. Uh, there's a requirement that Microsoft have got in place at the moment to install Windows 11. Now, there is people uh, that have produced workarounds for this at the moment, but Microsoft are not really implementing it as of yet. But when they do on their final release, or if they do on their final release, then you're not going to be able to use that registry bypass. It's not going to work because it will be hardware locked and it will be to do with the CPU, and you're not going to be able to use that bypass. So it's pointless me making a video showing you how to do it and getting it installed on old hardware. Because if you're using that computer, you're going to have to then reinstall Windows 10 on it. So it's just not really worth it. We'll have to wait and see what Microsoft do for the final release. They may uh, remove it uh, or they just may say, no, we're definitely going to go with TPM 2.0. It is a security feature and it is best for the future of Windows 11. Anyway, with that said, I hope this one helps you out. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Big shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I appreciate the support. Have a lovely day, and I'll see you again real soon. Bye for now.